What's good, everybody? I'm AU4.5, I mean Alchemy. Today, I have a question for you. At what point do you get to in your production where you stop working on your project because you're ready to abandon it out of boredom, out of disappointment, out of, I don't feel like working on it anymore, X, Y, Z? Is it the initial conception of opening up the DAW? Maybe you don't have the technical skill to start writing a beat and you don't know what to do. Is it where you get to the loop limbo, as that was a new one that I heard today, which was kind of cool, or the eight bar loop of death? Is it that you can't figure out how to make two sections work together? Is it that you cannot write an intro, or maybe you start with an intro, but you're not happy with your drops? My friends, all the reasons why you have beat block all come from one very specific thing, which I would argue is the most fundamental, which is ego. Ego, friends. Ego, ego, ego. You don't want to make shitty music anymore. You want your music to be as good as the people that you listen to, or you're not vibing with it. You're not connected with what it is that you're making. And you know what? There are going to be some days where it's going to happen. You're going to be, you know, trying to work something out and you're going to make something and you're going to be like, I freaking hate this. But if I can give you a piece of perspective, what I would urge you to do is figure out what it takes in order for you to make those crappy ideas turn into something that is a finished product, even if it is only a minute and a half long, even if it's only 30 seconds, even if it's just a loop that has a beginning, a middle and end. There is this talk from quantity over quality as opposed to vice versa. There's a book about it. I don't remember who wrote it, blah, blah, blah. You guys can just look it up. But it was something that really resonated with me in the world of music specifically, right? It's a little bit different in a performance aspect or in something to where you have a limited number of tries. That is where perfect practice means perfection, right? And I would know this because I've been doing martial arts and tricking my whole life. I can't just rep 50 million cork attempts and bust on my butt the whole time because, well, then I get hurt. With music, the only thing that you're limited by is time. And each time you open up the DAW, you are making a decision or a conscious decision to start working on you know, beats or music or whatever, but the penalty of it is that you cultivated or you put effort into bettering yourself. So in essence of that, essentially, that is the very minor consequence as opposed to, well, you know, falling a bunch of times and then you're sore for a week or two or, you know, to the point that you have to take a longer break and, you know, whatever. The circumstances are different. The stakes are different, so to speak. You have to give yourself permission to write crappy music. That I didn't make that up myself. I got that from Chi on his masterclass, which is an amazing resource. But yes, absolutely. You got to give yourself permission to write crappy music. Everybody, even if you are not a producer, can make music. Do you know how I know this? Open up GarageBand, put a loop together, start the loop, stop the loop, congrats, you put something together. In saying that, you have to take that mindset into account that whatever it is that you're doing is the same thing just at a similar level of higher quality and then trying to fit within your genre and then it's a matter of being super picky with stuff that's very minute so here's the perspective it is not something that i'm trying to sell you it is not something that i'm trying to you know say this one magic trick is going to change everything it's not something that i'm like you know buy my ebook master book novel thing it's your perspective. It is your perspective. The only thing that you have to do to finish music is write an intro, write a middle section, write an outro. It should be reversed because you know the camera's flipped. But once you have that, once you have the idea about knowing what it takes to make an idea, figure out a way to get into the idea, figure out a way to get out of the idea, then at very least, even if you hate what it is that you're making, you have made a complete arrangement to where you say, I know what the story is and I don't have to add any more to it. And if you want to make chapters to it, all you have to do is say, well, I want to add it in another part and you don't have to obsess over it. That's why beat making is so fun because it's a beat, it's done. And for me, I love to continue actually making short beats, but making the beat as elaborate as possible, which I do want to talk about that in a future video of like how many sounds to layer and what it takes and blah, blah, blah. But what I'm saying to you all is that essentially you can write an entire tune with two sets of sine waves, one low, one high. Have a kick, have a snare, maybe a hi-hat, or don't. 
what it comes from that though is really just putting something that's a melody, a bass line, and a drum pattern together in order to make a beat, depending on what kind of music you're writing, right? But let's just keep it simple in terms of like, I don't know, hip hop or something. But that's all it has to be. You can write a percussive line. That's all it has to be. There is somebody out there who's famous, this is before our time, that got famous by writing four minutes of silence. I don't think that's ever been done again because that's like one of those one hit wonder type deals but somebody literally put out four minutes of silence and was like check out my check out my shit man imagine sending that to a label <laughs> sorry tangent but jesus give yourself permission to write crappy music but force yourself to finish that crappy music and i guarantee that you will not only feel much more fulfilled as a producer, but you'd be surprised at how much better you will improve because you're just writing music all the time. Quantity over quality in this sake. My name's Alchemy. You don't have to subscribe to the channel, but liking the video helps out a lot. Let me know your thoughts, discuss. I love that the past few videos that I've been doing has been all discussion based and been like tons and tons of comments. I like that a lot. So please tell me your opinion and tell me why I'm wrong. Just try not to be a dick about it. Thanks guys.